Hey everybody, good morning. If you're watching this, you're watching the replay. And I am crafting queen this morning because I have lots of stuff I have to get done. But I want to show you something that we did last week and that we're going to do a reverse color on a buffalo plaid chicken and a chair. My name is Laura Christensen. I am a designer with Chocotour. And um, I love sharing my products. I love sharing my uh, ideas with everybody because there's a lot of people out there that like to craft and um, need something really awesome. And if crafting is hard for them, this makes it so much easier. And that's what it has done for me. So I'm drinking my coffee this morning. My husband got this cup from my kids for Christmas and I stole it this morning. So let's get this crafty craft started. Welcome to my kitchen. This is where I do all my crafts. And then I have a little, let's see, this little um, shelving unit back here. This is where I put all my supplies. So I craft, I wash up all my transfers in my sink and in a tub or a bowl, and then I put them away. So that's what's easy about my products with Chocotour because um, it's simple, simple, simple. So messy hair don't care kind of day. It's Sunday and I am having hot flashes, Hannah. Holy cow. So don't mind me. So I'm going to show you guys. Hey, hi when you're here. I see someone's here. Um, I did a chair last week. And this is what we did. We did buffalo plaid in black with the white chickens. I'm doing this project for my daughter. And today we're going to reverse it. We're gonna do white buffalo plaid with the black chickens and then we're gonna have a contest to see what other, what the other chairs that I do. So kick back, relax, and grab your coffee and, hey Carla, how you doing girl? Happy Sunday. So I'm gonna just turn my iPad down to my project and we're gonna get started. So here's my buffalo plaid that I used the other day. I washed it up, I put the backer sheet on it and I put it back in its plastic sleeve and I hung it up till this morning. So that is super nice that I can store all my transfers very, very easy. So we do wanna, um, we do wanna fuzz this because we're putting it on a raw wood project. And I have waxed my chair. So, Hey Donna, how are you girl? How's all your snow, is it going away? Hopefully, right? So I'm just gonna lay my fuzzing towels out on my chair. I'm gonna take my buffalo plaid that we used uh, last Thursday I'm going to peel it off the backer sheet and the reason why we're fuzzing is because this creates a barrier in between your surface that you're working on and your transfer. Uh, so it protects your transfer because these are reusable. So I have used this buffalo plaid twice already, or no, once already. I've used my chickens three times. And that's the beauty of Chocotour, is they are reusable. So we're just going to fuzz, 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 lift it up. And as you use Chocotour products, you will learn, Miss Carla, <laughs> um, how much fuzzing you need for your actual surface that you're working on, whether it be glass, whether it be fabric. Like this hat right here is fabric. I chalked on that with some uh, Chocotour ink. Uh, whether it be raw wood, whether it be a Chocotour board. So you will learn how many times you want to fuzz. So when, when you're pulling them um, off of your towel, it doesn't take much strength. You just gently pull. So, here we go. We're gonna lay this beauty down. Let's see, I think I'm 
going to turn it this way. Because our pastes have natural ink in them, I can kind of see where I used it the last time on the chair. And that is giving me um, kind of an outline, if you will, so that all my chairs are in sync with each other. Good morning. <laughs> uh, even though our inks are natural pigments in them, they dry to a soluble, hard finish. They might not always come off of your transfer if you don't wash them right away, but that does not affect, affect the integrity of your transfer. You should be able to use it over and over and over again. So there we go. I have it pretty much lined up where I want it. And then I'm just going to gently push my hands over the screen part so that I can get all the air bubbles out so that there's no bleeding whatsoever. So today we're doing white. And I showed my daughter her other chair from Thursday's project and she really loves it. So I thought I would change up the color and give her options. I did order the, the sheep, the merchant sheep from Chocotour. So we might put a sheep on another one of the chairs with the buffalo plaid. We also have a hound's tooth that is similar. It's got more of a zigzag pattern in it. I think that would be really cool too. Welcome everybody that's joining. Hey Sarah, hey Tara. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We're doing a project on a wooden chair. And this is, I called it um, Buffalo Plaid Chicken in a Chair, part two, because we've already done one. And if you guys like this video, on the bottom left hand part of your mobile device is a share button. Like and share it because I'm doing a drawing every Friday for people that like and share my business page. I love giving away free stuff. I love it. I had 84 entries last week and we had one lucky winner. So as the number gets up higher, I might give away more free stuff. So, all right, so I'm just taking my multi-tool and I'm dipping it in to my container. This is bright white and we want it to be like a cake battery consistency slash yogurt slash sour cream. Those are the analogies I have for you. So I have my chair facing y'all but I'm standing on the side and I always like to work my projects from top to bottom. So to you, it's gonna look like I'm working from the side. So we're just going to load this baby up. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. I have my husband over on the computer in the event. I don't see your question. And then we're gonna take a squeegee and we're gonna pull this chalk paste all over. Okay, so I have a couple different styles of squeegees. I have what I call the big kahuna. And then I have this small squeegee, but since this is a bigger sized project, I'm gonna start with this. So we just, Grab and pull, nice and easy. And basically what I'm doing is I'm covering all the screen. And you might be thinking, hmm, wow, she used a lot of paste on that. You're right, I did. But guess what? A little paste goes a long way, and then I'm gonna squeegee it off. And I'm gonna put it back in my container. So you guys have to bear with me. Oh, <laughs> that's some crazy flashes. Oh my gosh, Robbie, can you open a window for me? <laughs> my ears are red, my neck is red, I can feel it. Hoofda. So just take your squeegee and pull it through your screen. And when you're working with chocolate chalk paste, um, a, if you don't work fast enough, and you, if you basically allow too much time in be, 
between the surface, applying it to the surface, and, oh, thank you. Applying it to the surface, it will pull up in the screen. It's not a bad thing. It kind of gives you a rustic look slash grungy look, dirty look, farmhouse look. That's really the look that I'm going for. Okay. So I've got it all pulled over on the sides. Then I'm going to take this jar, start at the top where I started, and kind of push down. And you see all that that goes back in the jar? So there's never any waste. Super awesome. Another thing too I found is if you don't squeegee off your transfer very well, it doesn't clean up as fast and as quickly as I would like. So, so just pull and squeegee it off. So I'm just using very little paste applying to my surface. Super awesome. And this big kahuna is thebomb.com when it comes to big projects. So if you guys know of anybody that likes to do stuff like this, likes to repurpose furniture, you're welcome to tag them. I love sharing, sharing ideas. Because when you go to a restaurant and you have a fabulous dinner, you always tell people that you ate at such and such a place and it was the bomb.com. So that's the same thing that you're doing and I do appreciate it. Okay. We got this Charlie the chair all squeegeed off. I'm just gonna put it to the side. Okay, ready for the big reveal. Hey Haley, hey Tara, hey Sarah, hey Logan. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. I appreciate ya. Here's the peel and reveal. Whoop, 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 whoop. Look at that. Whoa, you guys, isn't that cool? Thanks for the hearts. I'm just gonna put this over here in a bath of water. Okay. Isn't that cool? Oh, hot dog, I'm excited. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit it with some air. So I'm gonna show you guys the difference. Between, well, you can see back there, the chair that I did Thursday. Hey, Jay. Thank you, Donna. Thanks, Tara. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just blow drying it so that I can apply a second layer. I'm gonna put chickens on top and we're gonna do uh, black, black chickens on top. You'll see that I got a little bit of paste right here. Not a problem, just wash it off with water. Oh my gosh. Okay, watch. Woo! It's dry already. Groovy! Groovy, groovy. Okay, I'm gonna show you how easy this is. So you just take, uh, I use these board erasers, they work awesome. And you just wash it off where you boo boo. If I were to get it all over my clothes, my chalk paste would come out as well in the wash. And that's the bomb.com. Okay, let's add the chickens. Chicken, chicken, chicken. So I'm just gonna lay my You'll see my fuzzing cloth is really coarse on this side and really smooth on this side. This side is more for like washing transfers. I personally have not used this yet to wash transfers, but I use this side for fuzzing because that's when I get the most fuzz when I do my transfers because that, um, that creates a barrier between the transfer and the, the surface. It protects your transfer so you can reuse it. So I have actually used this transfer three times. I've used it once on metal and twice on wood. So when you're working with the larger transfers, you can, this, this works best for me. I just fold a little bit back like that, lay it down on my towel and pull. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. So, 
Someone has asked me before, well, what's the difference between your transfers and a stencil? My transfers are screens. They look like an actual screen on a screen door. And they are silk and they are reusable. So when you make your own um, stencils, I've heard people use Cricut, you can't reuse them again. You have to pull them and basically throw them away. If you don't have the stickiness down good enough, um, I've had a lot of bleeding. So that's why Chocotura has been a blessing for me. So I'll just fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. Fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. So I fuzz twice, just like that. And then I'm just gonna kinda look at my chicken over here. And I went down to past the first buffalo plaid part. Maybe up a little bit more, there we go. So the only part that I stick really good is where the silk screen is. Because I don't want this to stick hard because I don't want to pull up any of the chalk paste that I've already laid down. Oh, I see a bubble. I want to get that baby out of there. Um, if you're looking for transfers for upcoming gifts for uh, anybody in your life, teachers, birthdays, moms, dads, we've got a new catalog series coming out tomorrow. We've got some really cute things for kids to make their teachers, and make their moms, make their dads. Um, you can. Um, there's three ways you can purchase some. You can purchase some through me. I do have some inventory or I can place an order for you if you're local. You can place online. Chocolatura will send them right to you. That is the bomb.com, I must say. And then, or you can sign up as a designer discount and get 40% off. You can be a hobbyist. Just to, If you use a lot of Chocotour, you can be a hobbyist. If you want to do the business like me, that's an option too. So, it's really fun sharing craft and love. Okay, that baby is ready to go. I have my black, what's it called? Black velvet. I've got my squeegee. I'm just going to stir it into that cake-like consistency. Hey, Monica! Can't wait to see you Thursday! Hey, Lori! Do I seal it, Tara? Yes, I will seal it once I get them all done um, with a, what did we say about poly lacquer? That way it doesn't turn my white like a creamy color. And it will probably wear off a little bit, but that's the look that my daughter is going for. Because, um, you know, you see, sit on them and you move and rub and whatever. Um, if she doesn't like it right now, I can just wash it off with water, like the black and white one. Wash it off with water and redo it in the white buffalo plaid and the black chicken. Okay, if you guys, if I missed any of your other questions, I apologize. Okay, so I'm going to start again, right here. If you wanted to get really detailed, I could do like chicken orn feet, and I could do like the red top of the head of the chicken, I don't know what that's called, but my daughter is pretty simple, she just wants black, white, gray. Okay, again, take your squeegee. And cover the screen, work fast. I do have a window open, so that will possibly dry out my paste a little fast too, but uh, having a hot flash. Okay, we need some more paste. And just coat it nice and easy. Yeah, it's drying pretty quick. So I'm just going to squeegee fast. Squeegee fast. 
I've seen people do the, we have a measure, measure thingy in the back office and they put their measurements on the inside of their cupboards. Super cute. Am I missing any questions, Robbie? Uh, no. Okay, <clears throat> let's get this sweet thing pulled up for the peel and reveal. Here we go. <laughs> so cute! Okay, I'm just gonna stick this to my counter and then I'm gonna put it in some water. <laughs> I love it! Hey Caitlin! How are you girl? This is what you get when you cross buffalo plaid chicken in a chair. Isn't that stunning? Stunning, stunning. I really like this white buffalo plaid with the black chickens because I feel that it really makes the chickens pop out better. So, it is Sunday. Thank you, Donna. It is Sunday, a day of rest, but I'm resting because I love crafting. Do something nice for yourself today. Go out and go for a walk. Listen to the birds. Smell the snow melting. <laughs> so, um, thanks for tuning in. I know your time is precious. Happy Sunday, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.